The U.S. Department of State released its visa bulletin for March 2023 yesterday. Little changed overall, but we did see further retrogression for India in the EB-5 unreserved visa category. Now, in today's video, we'll walk through the visa bulletin for March for the employment-based visa preferences. But stay tuned. Until the end, I do want to announce an exciting new video coming soon where we at Bering had the opportunity to get the insights of the former chief of visa control at the State Department. He was responsible for the visa bulletin and the visa allocation for over 20 years. Hi everyone, Peter Bibler here at Bering Co. Each month we take a closer look at the visa bulletin to better understand what families can expect when applying for the green card through the employment-based and investor-based visa preferences. Again, if you need a refresher on how to read the Visa Bulletin, check out our video on how to read and understand the Visa Bulletin. And if you're new here to Barron's UEB5 channel, thanks for stopping by. We at Barron Regional Center aim to provide informational videos to help you better understand and navigate the EB5 Investor Visa Program. Be sure to subscribe and follow along. Now for the EB1 and EB2 visa categories, we did not see any changes for better or worse. China and India final action dates remain at February 1st, 2022 for both under EB1 and June 8th, 2019 and October 8th, 2011 for EB2 respectively. With final action dates in place for the rest of the world due to increased demand, we're not gonna see much improvement in the short term. The major advancements we saw during the summer and fall of 2022 are unlikely to recur because we can no longer expect unused visas from the family-based preferences to be carried over. For the employment-based third preference, no change with final action dates set at August 1st, 2018 and June 15th, 2012 for China and India, respectively. For third preference other workers, we did see further retrogression for China. Now for EB-5, that is the investor visa program, China and India both continue to experience visa backlogs in the unreserved visa category for both direct and regional center program. China's final action date remains fixed at July 8, 2015, while India further retrogressed from November 8, 2019 back to June 1, 2018. What is odd and very important is that the dates for filing remain at December 8, 2019. The date for filing generally means this is what the State Department thinks the final action date will be by the end of the fiscal year. So either the state thinks that it will advance significantly albeit back to where we were last month, or something's amiss here. But this is still significant for EB-5 investors who filed before December 2019, because according to the USCIS website, EB-5 investors may use the date for filing for March 2023 to file their adjustment of status applications. But we'll monitor these dates in the months ahead to see how these backlogs progress. For the EB-5 reserved visas, all countries remain current, including India and China. This means that new investors who invest in projects eligible for the lower investment amount of $800,000 for rural, high unemployment, urban, and infrastructure projects avoid visa retrogression. Very importantly, this means that for new EB-5 investors already in the United States on a valid visa may also file their application for adjustment of status. By doing so, you can apply for your EAD or work authorization, which is usually approved in about three months. This process is known as concurrent filing. Check out our video on concurrent filing to learn more. Concurrent filing was a key feature of the EB-5 Reform and Integrity Act passed in March 2022. This enables you to live in work in the United States while waiting for your green card petition to be approved without the work restrictions typical to H-1, E-2, L-1, and F-1 visas. Having this option can be particularly useful for H-1B workers looking for an alternative to the EB-2 and EB-3 backlogs. Check out our video on the H-1B to EB-5 strategy to learn more. Navigating the visa bulletin is complicated, especially if you're facing the EB-2, EB-3 visa backlogs and are considering applying for the EB-5 visa as a faster means to get the green card. It's hard to know whether to wait and see or get started now. Starting early is particularly important for the EB-5 reserved visas. They're limited in number. So long as they remain current, you can file your adjustment of status application at the same time and have the ability to work in the United States in about three months. 
This is extremely important if you're in that 60 day grace period after leaving your employer sponsor or dealing with potential aging out of children while waiting for your EB2 priority date to be current. But how long will these visa reserve visas be current? We recently had the opportunity to speak with Charlie Oppenheim and Joey Barnett of WR Immigration. Charlie Oppenheim was the former chief of visa control at the State Department and he was responsible for managing the visa bulletin and the allocation of visas for over 20 years. We, take a, we took a deep dive into the visa numbers, the reserve visas, and the visa backlogs with both gentlemen. And we're delighted to share with you the insights of both Charlie and Joey of WR Immigration. They're tremendously helpful for both current and prospective EB-5 investors. So stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions now about the visa bulletin, visa backlogs, and EB-5 strategies to obtain the green card for you and your family, contact the Bering team. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe so that you're notified of future videos.